hello everyone so today we'll be going to look botnet what is botnet we'll be going to understand botnet is a combination of a robot and a network wherein each infected device is called bot the originator of a botnet is commonly referred as a bot master the individual controls the botnet remotely often through intermediate machines known as the command and control servers also we call as c2 servers so let's look into the botnet from a graphical perspective here is the attacker which initiate attacks and controls the servers and initiate attack with computers which are infected known as bots and these bots initiate an attack through a traffic called attack traffic towards victim this is how it works in the background so when we look the history of botnet they were released into the irc network in 1999 the purpose of these bots was to install themselves secretly on machines when they connect to an irc channel so they could listen for malicious commands these were the botnet attacks earthlink spammer which happened in year 2000 storm which happened in 2007 curtwell 2007 following with 3ve 2018 i recently looked and investigated mirai which happened in the year 2016 this caused a massive ddos where iot's were infected and there was a huge destruction so today we'll be going to look a sample from year 2012 known as brbbot.exe we'll be going to see how this malware works and how it behaves in the real time environment see we'll be using a tool called rexshot so this is a tool which is used for identifying the registries so i'm going to take a registry screenshot before executing a malware and uh, then i'm going to infect my machine and then i'm going to take a second screenshot of that registry and then i'll compare just to check how it behaves okay so my first screenshot has been completed now i'm going to infect my machine and then i'll going to take a second screenshot here is a sample i'm going to run this as an administrator okay and now i'm going to take a second screenshot from rexshot okay the second screenshot has been completed now i'm going to compare okay here are the configuration changes i can see the values are added and i can see a current version slash run which says that this is uses a persistence mechanism most malware does use it N now i'm going to see what files does it have written or what files are modified after executing this malware okay i can see the f the files are added four files are added the first file is added in the roaming with crypto and the third file is related to brbconfig.tmp which has been added in my desktop i'm going to see what does it contain i'm going to open it with the notepad just to see the content of it okay so this is interesting i can see it's all encrypted data okay now we will be going to see the network activities for that we need to open a wireshark and we may need to run fake dns and http daemon you can see it's already running also i would like to let you know that there is a feature in vmware which can help you creating snapshots this is how you can create a snapshot i took four snapshots 
the first one is when I configured my network and the tools I shot and a snapshot and uh, whenever I infect my machine I go into my clean state this takes hardly seconds so it solves my time problem it boots in couple of seconds okay I'm going to run it again because I took a snapshot to the clean state so I may need to run this file again okay so the prbbot.exe is now running we can check it from process hacker okay so prbbot.exe is running with the PID 824 okay I started capturing the packets now let it run for a few seconds okay you can see a request coming in I can stop capturing and see what all do I have interesting I can see a get request and uh, is requesting ads.php from the web server since ads.php is not present in the web server we see a 404 also I can see i is equals to 192.168.40.128 so if I see my IP config that's my IP so the bot is trying to send my IP and my machine name to the attacker that's interesting with the I and C and using and as a get request okay also I can see uh, and coded hex and uh, this may be encrypted or obfuscated so we need to find what this is so I'm going to copy this and paste it somewhere in my notepad for the future use so till now we have seen config.tmp file being written to my desktop and I can see a network connection with some host where a bot is trying to send my IP address and machine name to the attacker. Now let's try to decode the content of encoded hex. For that, uh, we want to open the brbbot.exe in OLE debug and we will go to the names window by pressing win control plus n and i can see a call to read file we see the references i can see and follow this disassembler okay so it's possible that it's reading the files or the contents of config.tmp from here so we'll be setting up a breakpoint here and we'll be going to run it see now it's running and now it get paused till it reaches this okay so we can see the edge file as 000e8 so edge file is just like a pointer to a resource because uh, these are the handles and uh, Microsoft Windows uses handles to represent pointers to resources that a process may need to access for example 
a handle to the device for example file stream physical device tape drive socket this is how microsoft windows uses a read file so we need know uh, that uh, by looking into the handles we can see the exact 008 this is the file and this confirms that the contents are being read from brbconfig.tmp okay now we need to look other calls I can see an interesting call to crypt decrypt here. So if we set a breakpoint just after crypt decrypt, we may be able to decrypt the contents because crypt decrypt is possibly used by attackers to decrypt the contents as per Microsoft MSDN let's see if we can set up breakpoint here and after running what we'll get okay now we can see in the stack window the contents of encoded hex executable is equal to CEXE file is equal to ELEIF it's possible that attacker is using to configure a file with an executable so if we can maximize this we'll be able to see the exact contents so it's encoded by five bits that possibly one byte there is a sleep time of 30,000 this is an important aspect we are now confirmed that the encoded hex has been decrypted this is how useful OLE debug is okay so now we have few things to decrypt so the first one is this we have already decrypted it with the help of uh, OLE debug and we saw few seconds ago and now we are going to decrypt the contents of brbconfig.tmp I'm going to copy this in the notepad in my remnux and uh, this is where I copy it and I named it as encoded.hex okay so now I'm going to use python and uh, i'm going to convert the hex data into the raw format this is a command used by remnux to convert the hex data into raw format and then i'm going to decode the raw data by XORing each of its bytes with the key we discovered uh, since we know that uh, it's uh, five five bits of data so we'll be going to translate use translate.py and uh, with that I can see a decoded text interesting I can see system sms.exe win inet.exe this is these are the executables which uh, bot tries to open when executed and this is the data which was encrypted so now we are going to explore the C2 functionality of our BRB bot. The BRB config.tmp file seem to define keywords for commands as we have seen in the OLE debug. It uses CEXC to execute a program. Attacker uploads or downloads file with the command ELIF. Attacker also uses the command FNOC to update configuration files. And uh, at the end, attacker uses TIXC to exit the BRB process. We can look into one of the commands 
and see how it behaves so we will be going to look or explore brb bots capabilities by experimenting a command so we'll be preparing to send a cexc command to brb bot and execute notepad.exe let's see first of all uh, we will need to update adds.php as we have seen the packet capture earlier there was 403 so we may need to uh, get into where slash www and uh, write a echo command with with a cexe and execute notepad.exe inside ads.php inside ads.php so when i'm going to hit enter this has been written now now i'm going to run the malware again and infect my machine okay and see how it behaves in the wireshark just to capture the payload okay i can see uh, 200 response with the command cexe and notepad.exe i can see in every 30 seconds there is a spawning of notepad.exe and uh, this can be confirmed from process hacker the parent process is brb bot.exe spawning notepad.exe with a command cexe similarly we can use tixe to exit from the adds.php command so i'm going to use tixe adds.php i'm going to remove uh, adds.php and then use uh, the command tixe okay it worked as well thank you